She said that American soccer fans, most of them aren't smart. They don't know the game, they don't understand. Gio, Gio, Gio. That guy gets boxed. Before you can take a lame gorilla, okay? Hey, Bryce, did you know that Arsenal? He died. He's got me buzzing. Up the top, he's, it's hard to up him, but up him anyway. I, I'm not even going to comment on that. But as you can <laughs> see, Mike looks a little different today. That's because <laughs> it is not Mike. We have gone, we have gone overseas for a replacement. Sam, welcome to the pod. How are you doing? I'm doing very well. Pleasure to be here. Thanks for having me. And if you uh, could not guess, he is a Liverpool fan from the the kit there. So he will have Liverpool side of the the big game covered here. But Nick, I'll go to you first in City. This game was, from a neutral perspective, amazing to watch. City in the first five minutes had me convinced off of their lineup and off of the way they came into the game. I was like, oh, shit, this... This might not go so well. Liverpool has a lot of injuries. Man City brought out the fucking Avengers for this one. They were <laughs> that starting lineup. If you can show it here, Palmer, that lineup was nasty. What they put out there and going at an extremely inexperienced back line. I thought, fuck, this could get not as interesting as it ended up being. But as this game went on, Liverpool started to just take it over. The second half was all Liverpool should have i think in my opinion won manchester city from this this lineup and from who they are against an injured liverpool how are they feeling after a 1-1 draw that maybe they're lucky to have a draw out of this one 8 48 a.m receive a text i've watched enough city's going to win this game from one <laughs> from one host of this podcast that, that is, is like three minutes seven into minutes the game, yeah. that was crazy three not even not even three minutes into the game a very early call. I've just woken up <laughs> and he's like, it's done. I was like, what happened? What did I miss? So that was nuts. Um, City. Wow. Yeah, this is you're right. They they had everyone available to them that they needed to have available to them. They, this is a team that are like you said, they resemble the Avengers more than any other soccer team. Like they are insane, very talented um, and one point, one point out of this game. I think listen, Anfield away On a big game, I I criticize Anfield a lot when it comes to their atmosphere all the time. But on a big game, it's probably the hardest place to play in England. Uh, So it's a draw isn't the worst result when you look at it through that lens. But then you see number 78, Dorobro Kwanza, starting for Liverpool. (laughs) (laughs) Pretty sure I pronounced his name correctly. Uh, You look at some of the other people there. Joe Gomez is a left back. I mean, Kelleher in goal. it's, It's... a lineup that you think that Man City could do some heavy damage against, and they could have scored a couple more, but they are also incredibly lucky not to concede a couple. One Luis Diaz had a had a stinker of a game, so that that hurt uh, when it came to but his did finishing. He? I mean, he was incredible, but you got to put chances away at this level, especially if you're trying to win a title. So um, I'll let Sam get into Liverpool, but either way, I think if you are City. This feels like a game where the opposing team doesn't finish their chances. This feels like a game that City wins more often than not. And I think in the past three years, they would have won this game. And more than anything, I think it's showing that it's time for a change. Top of the Premier League table. Uh, I, I wonder who who currently sits oh, top of the Premier League I, I table. wonder, yeah. <laughs> Very oh, interesting, oh. boys. Oh, let's check. Wait, can we check? Whoa! <laughs> That is a whole lot of green on those last five games from one Arsenal football club. Uh, I think Man City missed a huge opportunity. It does not get any easier for them as league-leading Arsenal football club come to the Etihad next. And, boys, it is a title race that we are in. It is certainly a title race. And Liverpool, I had messaged Nick, and I said this right before starting here that i messaged nick and i said would you rather just have liverpool win this game knock man city down in points and have an injured liverpool that's just trying to get back to healthy down the stretch of the season that you're competing against i don't believe that oh wow i was so wrong on that that is liverpool today with a battered and bruised squad came out for a city and yes it looked maybe a little rough in the first 20 minutes but after that Liverpool had chance after chance. Man City couldn't string together anything. They didn't look like Man City. They didn't play their 
their way at all. Sam, it's impressive by Liverpool that they get this result and they should have maybe won, but is it also disappointing from a Liverpool fan perspective that, man, if Luis Diaz scores one of his, like, eight chances and gets a better ball in on one of his, like, eight dribbles through, like, five defenders, yeah. you're looking top of the table and looking awfully pretty here. I mean, he did everything but put the ball in the net, which, at the end of the day, is what he's paid to do. So, as nice as it was, as nice as his footwork was, you know, he didn't score. So, uh, if you'd asked me before the game whether I'd take a draw, I would have said yes. As you said, with, with the uh, uh, the lineups and with with the, the injuries we have, but uh, at the end of the game, I was just walked out disappointed for many reasons, including the controversy we'll get into. But uh, um, I, yeah, I, I guess I'm okay with the draw. Uh, obviously, with Arsenal uh, at home against City coming up in a few weeks. Um, there's still a chance for us to kind of take the lead back. Um, but a win would have been would have been nice, that's for sure. Yeah. Yeah, and it, it is interesting that the next matchup for Arsenal and Man City are against each other. So where Arsenal kind of benefited from Liverpool and Man City facing off here to take the, the, the top of the table, Liverpool will get put in that same exact position where they could take advantage of it as well next week. So it'll be interesting to to see what happens there. And this top three might just be jumping up and down on, on who ends up on top. But as you did mention, there is some contra- controversy around a, a late penalty shout. Doku had his leg to the sky and took out Jesus McAllister Christ. in the box. Yeah, I mean, look it, it was ridiculous. <laughs> the, the argument for, and I, saw, I thought this in the moment, that he does get the ball. Stop but it. it is a <laughs> crazy follow through, and it would be in a very dangerous position that he goes cleats into the de- the Liverpool player in the chest. <laughs> Look at it. I think the referee may not call this just due to the place it was in the game. I think 88th minute was when that happened. Would have surely decided the game and. Is it is it just the game you think, Sam, that the ref's not trying to to make him decide who wins here? I mean, sure, fair enough, but that's the whole reason for us in place in the first place, right? So that if you have a referee who's who had to make a call when he should, you've got VAR to intervene and to make that rev- that review process. We got screwed over with Arsenal playing basketball, and now we're getting screwed over with <laughs> City playing karate or something. Oh, okay. right? and, oh, and right. like. <laughs> I'm not biased, of course, but uh, but but Dude, he, he day, got a stud in his nipple. <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> <laughs> okay, God damn. He's taking a cleat to the chest. Good pause. <laughs> a... Doku is a, a big man taking a a stud straight to his chest there on McAllister. I... Palmer, shut the I mean, fuck up. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> now, Palmer, I do think you bring up a point here. If McAllister turns into it, takes it head on, mm-hmm. and gets absolutely just clotheslined by the cleat in the chest and falls back like that rather than turning and saving his chest a bit, does it not just look insanely more violent and gets that penalty shout? Mm-hmm. Once again, this is a very stupid topic that Palmer has brought up that he would have turned into it would have surely like cut open his chest but for a penalty <laughs> that, that, that may be it nick this game for for city feels like you should have lost off of a lot of chances feels like you got away with one in the penalty there but there were some chances with doku that the second he was brought on he made a difference but the big controversy was when kevin de bruyne went out he was pretty fucking pissed off, and rightfully so, because you are Kevin De Bruyne, and you say this about Messi and MLS as well, that even if they're not that fit at the moment, yes, he's coming back from injury. It's been a few games. I'd say give him more minutes. 60th minute taking off Kevin De Bruyne in a game that you need a moment to send one of your attackers through for Kovacic was wild. I think he hit on one of those subs. I think he really missed on taking De Bruyne off. Do you see it the same way as me, Nick, or are you with Pep, or is he over-tinkering, as he sometimes really does? 
Uh, you gotta, you have to be able to protect your player, um, but also certain because I mean, De Bruyne is not going to protect himself in that situation. He's not thinking about his health. He's thinking about winning a game. And De Bruyne is right because this game's fucking huge. <laughs> so you, it is absolutely the wrong call to take him off. Left on uh, best player in England, apparently Phil Foden, who did nothing this game. Uh, <laughs> he did nothing. He had a few chances. He did have a few chances. Yeah. He put a ball like off the crossbar that Kelleher threw at his forehead. <laughs> like that is the only <laughs> yeah. thing that he did the entire game. <laughs> like, come on. Uh, I, I don't know. I think it was a mistake. Obviously city. I, last week I said Liverpool finishes third in this title race. Um, I don't know. I really don't know. I feel a lot better about Arsenal's chances based off this game. Sam, I know you got to get out of here soon, but uh, before you go final thoughts, cause this is, you know, Klopp's final season. Every time he scores, he's smiling at the crowd. <laughs> just just tears in his eyes <laughs> watching Andrew. I mean, I have tears in my eyes. <laughs> and, uh... Uh, thoughts, on, thoughts on Klopp leaving and where you think uh, Liverpool finishes this season? Uh, thoughts from Klopp. Man, I mean, build him a statue. Build him two. Build him three. You know, he, uh, he's, he's completely changed. Liverpool uh, can change just the, the whole dynamic of it's become a place where players want to come to play, right? Which, to be quite honest with you, 10 years ago, uh, during the whole Fergie uh, completely dominating with, with Man United, it wasn't, it wasn't the, the way it is right now. Uh, and so I have nothing but thanks for him, but at the same time, I'm sad to see, he, sad to see he's gone. Uh, I don't think he's retiring from football outright. I think he's just taking a, taking a break, so... As long as he doesn't come back to the Premier League, which I think he's already announced, uh, you know, I'm happy for him, but wish he, wish he'd stay. Um, end of this regarding the, uh, the the end of the season and where it will go. Um, obviously, uh, we have a couple of injuries right now. Uh, we're able to beat Chelsea in Carabao Cup, but Chelsea are a <laughs> mid-tier team at this point, right? Uh, so that wasn't as big of an accomplishment as people say, but. Um, um, I mean, I want to say we'll come first. To be honest with you, I don't think we will. I think before this game, if you'd asked me, I said City were the favourites. Uh, after this game, I think there's more of a chance than, than before, but uh, I think <laughs> Arsenal probably, unfortunately, have Fucking the, say uh, it. <laughs> yeah, I know. I Let's know. I know. Go. But go. at the same time, to be to be fair, if if you had to ask me which of the two I'd want to win if it wasn't Liverpool, I'd take Arsenal. I'm tired of City and oil money, you know, dominating. And not to mention the whole fair play, uh, like slaps on the wrist yes. that they've had. Ridiculous. Uh, I mean, Everton did the same thing and got a 10-point, although it was reduced to six, but a six-point uh, point, uh, reduction. And City just get like, you know, a little fine, uh, which is <laughs> get money for these, for, for these guys. Uh, but... Uh, but yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, do I want us to come first? Yeah, I, I, I don't know if we will. I mean, that goal difference is something as well. I don't know if we'll be able to make up seven goals at the, by the end of the year season if we end on the same points. Entirely possible. Yeah, I think the, the biggest thing for Liverpool here is probably their remaining schedule. They don't have uh, City again, and they're not playing like a Man City. Their next two games are or Arsenal, Aston Villa. So they have a chance to keep their, their run at the top here. Before sure. we let you go, next manager is the dream Shabby Alonso for Liverpool. Uh, I mean, when you look back at like the recent runs of uh, Premier League legends coaching their teams, you got uh, like Lampard and you even have like <laughs> Rooney. Not where you are. Rooney, Everton, you know? Rooney. <laughs> right, and the same thing at Man United, right? Uh, it's, it's it's not the way it's, it hasn't worked out very well. Put it that way. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I mean, Xavi's doing well uh, right now, um, but we'll see. At the end of the day, to be honest with you, I'm focused on this season. Um, see what happens at the end of at the end of the day. Yeah, um, the dream, sure, but I don't know how long the dream lasts once uh, he starts to take over the team, and you know, we have mid tier performances and we're looking like Chelsea again. <laughs> Yeah, I, I would hope they don't look like Chelsea, but <laughs> Chelsea Chelsea have a, a way of, of spreading their ways. Liverpool going to be in this title race till the end. Ten games left. 
Any final thoughts to leave our viewers with before you, you hop off here? Um, if we don't win, we were robbed by VAR. That's all I'll say. <laughs> you know, I mean, we should have we should have won today. Should have won at Arsenal. Uh, oh my God, won at Arsenal! Oh come on, man! He was playing basketball. He was. Uh, <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's, he's, he's making fucking, excuses before the result happens. Fucking hey, guy. <laughs> you, you have to. That's the Liverpool way. It never works out for us. Uh, <laughs> Uh, um, right, the one today, but oh well. Thanks for having me. Hey, yeah, appreciate, appreciate it, bro. On. Good seeing you, and uh, we'll get you yeah. back in here when Arsenal beats you for the title. Ah, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> later, man. All right, later, later man. man. Thanks for having me. Peace.